back to my channel so today is going to be a the <clears throat> do my makeup in alphabetical order challenge sort of thing obviously James Charles and Nikki tutorials they've already done it and I saw it and I thought that's a really cool idea I'd love to do it and so I'm going to be doing it I'm going to be doing my own rendition of it well own well, rendition but it's like I'm going to be using completely different products because obviously I'm British, Nikki Soros is from Holland even though she uses a lot of American products and James Charles is obviously in LA which is obviously America so I'm going to be using mainly British products apart from like one and two things that the, you can get in the States and other areas of the country. I have written down the order. I did ha obviously have to. I did refer to Nikki Tutorial's video. I haven't actually watched James's video. I will do like after I've finished filming, but for now, I'm just gonna be. I've just watched Nikki's video. Oh my god, what the he hell is my hair doing? And so, obviously, you start with B. And the first item is a blush. Now, unlike Nikki, I'm not fortunate to have a cream blush. I've got powder, so I'm going to end up like a cakey mess afterwards. <coughs> after this video is finished. But, it's all part of the video, so. I'm using this W71 in the shade this W7 powder blush in the shade Rose which is this like pinky sort of ready kind of colour and then grabbing my brush I'm going to grab some of it on I don't typically wear blush but I thought for the purpose of this video let's let's just do it and I'm going to apply quite a bit so let's make myself look like a doll I know it's not going to show through afterwards, but I thought for the purpose of making myself look stupid in a video, we're going to go full out. Blush are done. And obviously next is bronzer. And again, I don't have the luxury of having <clears throat> cream bronzer. I've got cream contour, but I don't know where it is. So we're going to be sticking with powder. And I'm going to be using the Collection Bronze Glow in the shade Terracotta and it's the matte one and again I'm just going to be applying this I'm making myself look like a fool So that is bronzer done and if you hadn't guessed I'm currently wearing my onesie because I couldn't be bothered just get into like normal clothes. Then after that is concealer and I have got liquid concealer. I'm going to use, I believe this is the BC um, concealer, I don't know because the things come off but from the packaging uh, from what I've seen I believe it's the BC one I can't remember and then I'm going to be using my brush <laughs> It 
just before I started this video, I watched the movie Tag and I've got to say, it was very funny. I enjoyed watching it very much. But the fact that it's based on like a true story, or like inspired by a true story is like even greater. It's like what? <laughs> the next thing is contour and again I've only got powder so here comes my failure. <clears throat> contour brush oh it's there and I'm going to contour the hell on my face and hope that it gets seen over the foundation <laughs> and I've got pomade and powder and obviously pomade comes, comes before powder so I'm going to be using the Revolution Pro Brow Pomade <laughs> Because I don't usually do eyeliner, but I thought for the purpose of this video, eyeliner is going to be done. So, watch me fail. <laughs> But I am going to try and use a brush to straighten it up a bit. This brush was used last time I did for concealer, last time I did my makeup, so I was hoping there was some on it. Yeah, I did cheat a little bit. Then, primer. And for that, oh god, not that one. It is. I'm going to be using the Owl Eye Primer.
primer is done. Now to eyeshadow. And for that I'm going to be using the Morphe 35F. I obviously haven't done a video on it. That's because I've not been using it. Like, I just end up using my other palette more than this one. I'm just going to go for a simple, simple, simple look. Trying to be as basic as possible so that this art can look as okay as possible. And now let's go for a bit of shimmer. I'm lucky enough that I didn't actually have eyelashes. So it's good. I'm okay with the eye makeup, like the eye makeup's good. Foundation. For this I'm gonna be using the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation, which is like comfort serum. And let's just try and save this and then where is it where the hell did I put my foundation brush hiding from me Not having 
highlight not highlight me not having like a top lighting you can uh, see that there isn't any contour there but for highlight I'm going to be using a old favourite that I've not actually used in a while and this is the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter in the shade Iridescent Gold I've broken the lid off of it by accident but it's all good because I can still use it <laughs> I don't actually know why I've got my lip balm. Uh. Yeah, I don't know where lip balm is. Yeah, and I have to skip that one. I really cannot see a lip balm near me because I obviously don't get consulted. So we'll move on to lip gloss and I'm playing it safe and I'm going for the Technic. Oh my god, this is rubbed off. I'm going for the Technic Clear Lip Gloss because why not? lip gloss applied and I've decided to be a little bit extra and I'm going to put I've next I've got lip but then I put liquid so liquid lipstick so yeah and for this I'm going to be using the LMX matte lip in the shade da, 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 Cupid The thing is, this is a matte lipstick and I don't think it's going to dry. Because there's a lip gloss underneath. Great. Then it's a liner, but yeah. Actually you no, know, lip pencil. I put that up. But lip liner, lip pencil. Yeah. And for that I'm going to be using the LMX lip liner in the shade hold up I have done lip liner, but you might not be able to tell. Then it's lipstick. 
and for that I'm going to be using the NYX lip suede in the shade Brunch Me. It's very pretty. It's a very similar shade to this one. And that is a lipstick mascara. And for that, no, like, no surprise to anyone who's already subscribed to me, but I'm going to be using the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. shade which is called my guy Ow, or my gal how you can say it and it's from the Im revolution x imagination highlight to the mini palette and i'm just gonna be using this to set my face MUA Skin Define Hydro Primer. You can no longer get this. But, yeah. I'm going to be using the collection primed and ready makeup fixing spray. It's also called setting spray. Here is the final look. Well, looking in the mirror, it doesn't look too bad, but I've also not given it time to settle. I know the lips don't match the eyes. That lip liner was the only lip liner I have. And yeah. I'm proud of myself with my eyeliner though. It doesn't look too bad. I just kind of wish I could have been able to find my cream contour. Because then it would have looked a lot better. Because I've literally just got like a foundation base. 
but yeah, this is like the finished look. Let's get the mirror in. Look at it. It doesn't look too bad. Like it does kind of pick up all the textures in my face, but other than that, it doesn't look too bad. So that is the finished look. But now that this challenge is over, the mirror fell by the way. But now that this challenge is over. And bronzer. I, st I know I still had some on the brush, so that's why I was doing that cheek before even dabbing this. better okay now that is the end of this video if you guys enjoyed don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below especially if you are new or even if you've just forgotten to subscribe hit that subscribe button down below comment any video ideas or any other challenges and that sort of thing binge watch my content please do and i will see you guys in my next video bye